there's a vision in the back of my head, a dream of okay, where I'd like to be. What's up, man? What's up, bro? How you doing? Uh, all right. You know how people go to Italy to see Michelangelo's work? Um, they travel to France to see Picasso's work? Um, Spanish Harlem has always been looked upon as some, like a very negative reputation. You know, so I wanted to bring something that was positive to these streets that people would come up here and be proud of. James was a resident of East Harlem. He grew up here and uh, went off to school to Cornell University and then came back and uh, started uh, doing artwork around the community. Somebody asked me to paint a mural for some boy that passed away. And while I was painting on the wall, I realized that there was a magic to working in the streets. I've been a big fan of Picasso's work and his whole journey. And basically what I did is I substituted some of his images with some of the popular imagery from these streets into the painting. So over there, there's a woman holding a pit bull. I made that look like my mom. And looking back at it now, I think the real genius is my mom. Just because I think that uh, most kids from these poor ghettos are not supposed to get out of here. I didn't want him to become a doctor. I didn't want him to become a lawyer. I wanted him to become what he wanted to become. If he wanted to become an artist, that's what he became. James has a studio in one of our buildings on 103rd Street, the fish tank, he calls it. It's a little hole in the wall space. And for him, it's like a little fish tank. People can walk by and there's a big glass window and can, can look in and see what he's doing. <laughs> Well, his, his rent is a painting a month. We, we bartered the space with him because when we first talked about his need for a studio, he wasn't making a whole lot of money as an artist. And he really wanted to pursue his art more and his connection with his community more. So we talked about renting him this space, but he didn't have any money. But I liked his artwork, so we okay. went ahead and cut a deal. Great. Bye. Oh, we're gonna paint a portrait of someone. They're gonna paint a portrait of someone. I approach the canvases very much like I approach the streets. If the wall is bland or it's full of old graffiti or crumbling paint, I put something on it that gives it life again. Yeah, come on here, just stand right here and just look at me. Okay, perfect. I tried to give life to the wall by perhaps bringing an image to the wall that would just activate the entire wall. I wanted to create more works that, that engaged the, the viewer, that provoked and stirred up emotion in the viewer. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do my thing now, my chalk stuff. Okay. Usually what I try to do is write the statement and keep moving, because it's not really what I think about the statement, but it's more your encounter with the statement. Right. What's that? What is that? Can you please tell me, explain to us what this, this means? Because we understand please. the rest. I'm trying to reach the person who has no hope. If these things can plant seeds in people mm -hmm. and improve their lives in some way, then I think that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. Like you stop right. and you try to figure it out. Right. And you were frustrated at first. You right. were like, explain this to me. And that, that was part of it. Own Only to This is true. These thoughts are about getting people to think about themselves and the conditions around them. Why don't you fill this shirt in for me? Fair? Deal? I'll paint his face and then I'll come paint yours. But you fill this shirt in when I'm painting him. Right? Very much the same way my mom taught me how to live and how to survive as a child. I would like to offer those kind of experiences to younger people so that they can, they can begin to say, you know, I want to be like that. I want to be successful also. I think part of the plan is to keep doing work where I'm always exploring new things and to hopefully penetrate the bigger gallery scenes, the museum scenes, and to be able to travel throughout the world to do my stuff and share my stuff with with other um, people. This one says, uh, many of us will spend the rest of our lives proving ourselves worthy and acceptable to others. And this is how very much how life is. I feel that we all go through life always trying to prove ourselves so that we can get recognition, so that we can get the, the best position. Um, and I think my whole journey has been this, proving to people that, that you can be what you want to be.